I'm the leader of the House Republicans. But legally, he is not. That was state rep Derek Marin, who lost the vote for Speaker of the House last week. The majority of state Republicans have called it a coup, and now they are taking a stand on their own. And this comes after Speaker Jason Steffens made a deal with the Democrats, who then gave him the votes to win. And the drama is continuing. Oh, it's so much to keep track of. A lot going on here. State House reporter Morgan Trow has been covering this from the beginning. Today, she shares how the state house is now divided into three factions: Democrats, Marin's team, and Stevens' team. Although spirits were high during the Ohio House Republicans' meeting, this closed-door event signals a severed party because only 45 of the 67 elected Republicans were invited. We, we are under siege, there's no question about it, um, but we will stand our ground. The exclusive caucus was led by State Rep Derek Marin, who was elected Speaker of the Ohio House by the GOP in an internal vote. But during the full House vote, more moderate Jason Stevens won after he made deals with Democrats to stop certain bills. Since then, the 45 Republicans who didn't want Stevens have been feeling stressed about how they're going to get their bills passed. Welcome to life in the minority. <laughs> Democratic State Rep Casey Weinstein thinks the Marin team is just showing they are unwilling to work across the aisle or in the same aisle. Do you consider the 22 that voted for Stevens no longer Republicans? Those 22 censured individuals, uh, the, the 22 have separated from us and they separated from the Republican caucus. Stevens' team gave a statement about the meeting to reporters. Speaker Stevens has always stood for the constitutional right to freedom of assembly. His focus remains on unifying the House Republican caucus and working on behalf of the people of Ohio. But the majority of the Republican Party says this isn't over yet. We're going to decentralize power. The Speaker can't have all the power anymore. We want input on chairs, committee assignments, because of, you know, with term limits, we can't have a dictator anymore. You know, when they're not getting their way, the most extreme in their caucus aren't getting their way. Um, they want to change the rules uh, to make it easier to do that. And even though he lost the vote to become speaker. Well, I, I'm the leader of the House Republicans. At the State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.